Hi everyone, this is Pulvinder. Welcome to the next day of your challenge, guys. I hope you're done with your ads and you already published that one. Now it's time to measure your campaign's results. It's time to measure your ads results, how it's working. And for that, guys, you need to be understand about some basic metrics that you need to be know. And that helps you to let you know that how your ads is working. Right, so this is the most important part, and you will be know how much money you are spending, how much clicks, impressions, results you are getting. That's really awesome for you. If you're on the screen, guys, I need to, I need to be told you about the basic metrics that help you to measure your result. The first metrics is impression, guys. What does the impression mean? Is it is the total number of the times your ads has been seen by one person and it can be a multiple time you remember in the ad set level you have selected the placement is automatically and you have also the manual one where you can select and you can tell to the facebook i want to be show my ads on facebook instagram stories marketplace and all the platform facebook owns and facebook will show your ads and that's count as your impression if your ads Facebook show your ads on story, that will be counter impression. If your if Facebook show your ads on the feeds, Instagram, everywhere, it doesn't matter. Numbers of things will show your ads. They count as a single single impression, and they will be show you on the metrics level. I will show you within a one to two minutes where it can be showable. But you need to be understand about the metrics impression how it works right in the reach the total number of people you have reached with your ads at least one so means the people saw your ad at least one time for example guys if a one person see your ads 10 times in a day facebook will count of one reach basically the Facebook it's counting each person as an each um, uh, each reach of your ads for example guys if you go to down here for example if you if Facebook delivers 10,000 impression and there will be covered 3,000 reach means the Facebook will only target the 3,000 people and this shows your 10 ads 10,000 times to this 3,000 people. That's what it's Facebook is saying to you in that metrics. So in the impression, what is the difference between is in the impression, if a one person see your ads 10 times, the Facebook count 10 impression. If the same person, the same person shows your ads 10 times, Facebook count 10 impression and single one reach. That's what it's Facebook is saying to you, right? So how we can calculate actually how, how many times a people seeing my ads, one people, one person see my ads. We can calculate based on the frequency uh, metrics. So the frequency metrics will let us know the number of the time a person see your ad. And how we can find the frequency is, um, that's a formula guys to find the frequency. It's the number of impressions divided by reach. Example, if you will be see it's here, 10,000 impression divided by three reach means you will get 3.2 three frequency means a person will see your ads around three to four times in a day so a single person will see your ads three to four times in a single day that what is about for example in the second example 10,000 impression and we have 5,000 reach means Facebook covers 5,000 people to show our ads means 5,000 people at least 5,000 people see our ads in a day at least one time right so the frequency if you divide it into we have two frequency means a fun person seeing our ads two times in a day and the third example 10,000 divided by 7,500 reach means 7,500 at least the people 
seeing our ads one time in a day that what is facebook trying to say and we have 1.3 frequency if you will be noticed here guys the less frequency means the more people we cover and if we cover more people I mean that's good for our ads and our ads is working fine so guys always trying if your frequency is low means your campaign is good to go or if you are measuring on headset level means your headset level is good to go means you find out the right audience you have a good audience you have a good placement everything is perfectly fine if your frequency is low if your frequency is high means your ad is no working well and you do not have a good audience you are going to show your ads in the next video i will be show you how you can optimize it and i have a lots of way to optimize and how you can get the good frequency but for here you need to be understand that part is your frequency is low your frequency should be low if your frequency is more than two well it means that your campaign is not working well that what i found it from my ads I will be give you a note here guys you will be read that note if your frequency is high means you are wasting your money right because a people you are showing your one ads to the people a lots of time and they are not interesting right so if they click it that's fine but if they are not clicking means they are not interesting you need to be work again on your ad level or campaign level that's it level or campaign level please decrease the budget what do you need to do on that time please decrease the budget and you need to be work out on the ctr now what is ctr i will be showing you in the next minute what is ctr is but you need to be work on ctr click through 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 rate you need to be find out a good audience um in the next video i will be show you how you can optimize it but you need to be know about what is ctr here click through rate how many clicks we are getting right do not be get overwhelming guys it's very easy but i will be show you in a minute everything further in case your cpm will be higher guys this is the thing is cpm is the bidding strategy we have um if your impression if you reach if your frequency is low right if your frequency is low means your ctr will be better if your ctr will be better your cpm or cpc the money you are going to facebook is low means the cpr ctr is high your cpc cpm whatever the strategy you have bidding strategy that would be low and that what we want so our main focus is to increase the ctr and how you can increase the ctr in a minute i will be show you and that metric is related to also our frequency i will be show you this is all are the interlink but you need to be understand about this frequency should be low not high if you're high you need to be work out on it the ctr i will be show you in a minute my recommendation guys what i found it here for the cold audience your frequency would be two to five for the cold audience if you obviously guys you 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 are trying to target your cold audience and you are trying to target the first time and your frequency is between two to five if one person can see your ads two times three times four times five times in a day that's fine uh in the next video i will be show you how you can optimize it but that's fine that's the that's the countable thing that it's fine your ads is working fine but if it's more than that it means that you need to be stop your ads on the same time you need to be work out on it about your audience part about your ctr part i will be show you in a minute how, what a ctr is and how you can um optimize it but you need to be work out on your ctr now i hope you will be understand that matrix if you are on the uh, if you are on your headset level if you are in your ad manager i will be show you here this can you see this impression guys in reach and frequency this is the way how you can bring might be you do not find this one the reason being i will because you you just recently created i will be show you in the next video how you can pull out uh, facebook have everything and how you can pull out and how you can put it here but might be you are unable to see it how you can add it and how you can add into here i will be show you in the next video but here you need to be understand about the impression reach frequency you have this impression you have this reach if you divide it by this you will be get this frequency in the retargeting guys this is my warm audience as i mentioned in the cold audience the frequency will be two to five 
obviously guys in the retargeting campaign means your window your segment would be definitely low because you have a limited number of people you are going to retarget your segment window is very low and facebook will show your ads to those segments who already know you in that way if your frequency is higher do not be worried about it because it will be higher the reason being your audience target audience is very low and facebook keeps showing your ads to those who already knows you and your target window is low so that your frequency will be higher your impression will be higher leech will be low because you do not have much reach so if you divide it your frequency will be higher so do not worry about it if it's more than five to ten do not worry about it but we will be optimized in the next video how you can do it uh, but here you need to understand that part right now now what is ad amount spent guys the total money the total amount you have spent on your campaigns that what is amount spent for achieving your result in the next way i will be show you for achieving your result how much money you are going to spend it that what is trying to say so basically guys you can select the days you can find it out you can check out based on the date uh, from which date to where, where when uh, you want to be checked you can um, edit here and then you facebook will show you from that window you have spent that much money to getting this impression to getting this reach that what is about the amount spent of your campaign level right if you want to be if you have more than two more than one ad set in a one campaign you can check it here as well guys every ad set how much money you will be spending so um that 125 only i'm spending on the account my accounting trainings uh ad set level right that what i'm trying to and uh, that what facebook is trying to say in last seven days if i'm go to the uh last this month so facebook will show me about the old ad set which i spend the money on it so in this last spend i have spent this much money so if we will go for the maximum or last month or minimum three months so you will be see it here the amount spent for this ad set i have spent this for this ad set i have spent this 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 all things if you want to be measure on to the asset level if you have more than one asset level in a one campaign you can find it how much money you spend into each ad set that will be facebook tell you about it and similar you can check it in a ad set level how much money you spend on each ad that what you can also find it out here right this is the game this is the fun you can see how much money you are spending on each ad how much money you're spending on each ad set how much money you're spending on each campaign that what is facebook telling you in that way so this is the basic metrics and further we have the ctr as i mentioned you about the ctr guys this is click through rate right basically you are going to measure through this matrix how many clicks you achieve in from the impression facebook um show to the uh show to the old uh, platform and the facebook feed instagram marketplace wherever facebook show your impressions how many clicks you get it from there that what is ctr is uh one thing guys let's say uh when you will be get the click here i'm going to give you the back way um when you get the click if your ads will be attractive if you target the good audience then you will be get the click if you getting the click right from the less impression your cta will be higher i will be show you here for example how many clicks you get it divided by the impressions facebook showed multiply by 100 that's the formula for example example um 20 clicks you get 20 clicks out of thousand impression if you will be going to multiply by 100 that will be two percent ctr you are getting onto the ad level ad set level campaign level it's all up to you where you are going to measure it right but i always recommend to measure ctr on to the ad level the reason being you will be get the clear indication how your ad is working and this is the way the finally audience will click on the ads and you getting the click because in the ad level you are getting the click if you're getting the click your ad set level ctr will be automatically high if that high your campaign ctr will be automatically high again so 
always i recommend to uh, measure your ctr on ad level not ad set not campaign but ad level you need to be work out on it if your ctr is low as i mentioned you your ctr should be higher right so for example guys here i will give you another example so you that will be really in the clear with you uh, so you will be clearly understand how it works for example guys <clears throat> you're getting 50 clicks out of 1000 impression it's good or not it's good right because you are getting 50 clicks from 1000 impression rather than 20 how much clicks as much as clicks you get it means your ad is working fine and people are interesting in your ads so if you multiply by 100 that will be five percent so automatically your ctr will become higher so that's what our goal is in the third example if you're getting 70 clicks from 1000 impression means you are getting 7% CTR and that's what we want is, right? As much as CTR you get it, your ad is perfectly fine. If it's below, you can say that if it's below 2%, I will be showing you in a minute about the cold audience, how it should be and in the warm audience, how it should be. But understand that part where higher, higher CTR means your ad is good and that's more engageable and people are very like your ads so my recommendation is guys for the cold audience means the audience should do not know that's the first time they watch your um ads the ctr would be minimum two percent not 1.5 not one like minimum two percent maximum can be three four five six seven eight it's all up to your ads how your ads look like how many people watch your ads right but it should be minimum two percent means from hundred impression you should at least get two clicks so that it is my recommendation for the cold audience right it's you're getting more than it's good for you and it's good your ad is working fine and spend more money on it put some more money if your budget ten dollars spend twenty dollars means your ad is working and you are targeting good audience that's what it's trying to say in the warm audience guys your ctr would be two percent to five percent should be minimum between two three four five right if it's below means you are not going to good you are not getting good result it should be more than two three four five or more than that uh, about the ctr will be show you here right um you can see it here ctr all in the next video i will show you what does it mean and how you can pull it out from the facebook uh, metrics and all this part but here you can see the ctr my ctr for this ad it's ad i'm talking about the ads um, my ads is working like that way so means i can see it here my ctr for this ad is two more than two percent means this ad is working fine if other ad is not working fine i need to be work out on means people do not like that ads right so understand that part guys this is most important part of it so um ctr will be obviously more than two percent right for the cold audience so make sure that if you if this is below than that i need to be work out on it but here you need to be understand that part how you can make your ads more attractive it's a game guys it's a fun you need to be work out on every day everything you need to be check out what the ads are sometimes people like your ads sometimes people don't like your ads um you need to be work out on it you need to be create more engaging ads if you if you think that thing ad is working fine and then you need to be work out on your audience so that the targeted audience should have the interest in your ads in your product so i will be showing you in the next how you can optimize your campaign ad set and that level everything but here you need to be understand about the campaign of the ctr how you can uh, calculate it now result finally guys based on your goal whether you want link clicks, whether you want landing page view, if you are running um, the traffic, right? Um, if you're running the traffic objective, you might be interested to landing page view, link clicking impressions and all this stuff. But I always be highly recommend for the landing page view or the link clicks because I want to be get link clicks from the people. So here, the result based on your objective that you finalize it. So if let's say if in a traffic, then your traffic, um, the landing page is your result and the Facebook will lead you now in that much amount you have spent it and that much impressions you got it, that much reach you got it and that much landing page view you get it. 
how you will be see it here guys you will be seeing the result column so for example guys uh, I'm going to measure this one onto the ad set level because I now my ad set I have a heaps of ad sets so that will be give me a, a clear indication and my goal for the old ad it's the same to pay, put all people onto the landing page here right so here my goal is same for the all ads right so that's why i'm not going to measure onto the ads and um, i will going to measure of the common ad set level because the goal for the asset level is um uh, landing page here so here in the accounting trainings that that is my ad set level i'm getting 116 landing page view right uh, that what is Facebook is about to tell me from I have spent three hundred thirty six dollars and I'm getting I got 116 landing page view of from that much money I spent that much money I got this one landing page view and for cost per result each result means every single landing page view cost me two dollars ninety cent that what Facebook is telling me about you got it guys what i'm trying to say is um this is the most important part of this um you will be get clear indication about the result how much money you have spent it how much money uh, how much how many results you got it and single results cost per result how much that would be cost you to getting one landing page view but it can be a landing page link as well i will be show you i have another campaign um, that is based on the landing find it out that one yep here you will be see it guys the uh, NZSG traffic I have the landing page view the same campaign I have the objective was traffic but here I selected the paper link clicks I have selected the link click because I want click link um, from that campaign. the objective for the campaign is this so you will be measure it here for the retargeting I have that uh, ad set level retargeting I have spent $143 right and my CTR is 4 my result is 118 means I got 118 link clicks and the per link click me a dollar point one twenty one cents every single link click me that much money so that what is Facebook telling me about now guys course per result I already covered about the link click now in the next video in the below video i'm going to show you this one because the video is going too long i don't want to be become too long so here in the next video i'm going to show you this link click and we have very important metrics about the purchase conversion ros a return on ad spend how much money um you spend it how much money you get it everything so in the next video i will be show you i hope that will be really helpful for you think see um going to do some brainstorming you need to be do it find it out if you could not find it out onto the ad level ad manager level don't worry i will be next video i will be show you how you can bring it here but here you need to be understand that part i hope that will be help you out see you in the next video